Hello, my name is Tram Nguyen. I am a candidate of pharmacy class of 2021. I will be presenting on the drug rosy glitazone today. Its brand name is Avandia. So the first thing I'll be going over is quick patient consultation for rosy glitazone. Um, it's used to lower blood sugar in patients with diabetes. It's usually taken uh, one tablet once daily without regard to meals. Some common side effects include headache, diarrhea, common cold symptoms such as runny nose or stuffy nose, and sore throat. Report to your doctor if you do notice any of these side effects such as cough or shortness of breath, swelling of ankles or legs, abnormal heartbeat, chest pain, weight gain of more than 5 pounds in 24 hours, dark urine, fatigue, abdominal pain, or yellow skin. Uh, make sure you monitor your blood sugar daily as well as um, keeping up on your exercise and maintain a healthy diet. So a quick introduction about rosiglitazone. It belongs to the drug class called thiazolidindions or TZDs. Um, it's an oral anti-diabetic drug. Um, there's two available drugs included in this class, which includes Actose or pioglitazone and Avandia, which is ro rosiglitazone. Um, they're indicated in the treatment of type 2 diabetes, usually as an adjunct agent, um, either second line or more commonly third line, when combination of other oral agents fail to provide adequate uh, glucose control. Um, it decreases the A1C by about 1-2%. to However, it's rarely used and no longer widely available due to concerns about potential increased risk for cardiovascular effects. So as for the mechanism of action, TZDs are insulin sensitizers, so they act as ligands of the nuclear receptor PPAR gamma also the PPAR alpha uh, receptor to a lesser extent in liver, muscle, and adipose tissue. Simulation of the PPAR gamma receptors influence the production of various genes involved in glucose and lipid metabolism, which enhances insulin sensitivity of these target tissues, resulting in increased glucose uptake and utilization in muscle and adipose tissue. So as for the dosage and formulations, uh, rosy glitazone comes in formulations of 2 mg, 4 mg, and 8 mg tablets. The initial dose is usually 4 mg per day, taken in a single dose or in two divided doses. For patients who had inadequate response to the initial dose following 8 to 12 weeks of treatment, the dose can be increased to 8 mg per day, also taken in a single dose or in two divided doses, and with the maximum daily dose of 8 mg per day. Also, there are combination products that rosiglitazone comes in. Um, the combination products with metformin, their brand name is Avandamet, and with glomecuride, it's Avandarol. For dosage adjustments, there's no renal dose adjustment necessary. Also, there's no hepatic dose adjustment necessary according to the manufacturer's label. However, um, therapy should not be indicated if the patient has uh, active liver disease or increased serum transaminase levels such as ALT is greater than 2.5 times upper normal limit at baseline. And during therapy, um, therapy should be discontinued if the ALT increases to greater than 3 times upper normal limits or if jaundice is observed. And some common adverse effects of rosiglitazone includes headache, diarrhea, hypoglycemia, weight gain, back pain, increased lipid level with LDL, HDL, and total cholesterol, upper respiratory tract infection, edema, cardiac failure, and hypertension. And some warnings and precautions for rosiglitazone. It carries a black box warning for congestive heart failure, so it can cause or exacerbate CHF in some patients. It's not recommended in patients with symptomatic heart failure, um, and initiation is contraindicated in patients with established NYHA class 3 or 4 heart failure. Another warning is dose-related edema, uh, weight gain, macular edema, or bone fractures. And for monitoring parameters for rosy glitazone, for efficacy, it should be monitoring the A1C at least twice a year in patients with stable glycemic control, fasting blood glucose, and for safety, we should monitor the liver enzymes prior to therapy and then periodically thereafter as well as signs and symptoms of fluid retention or heart failure. Weight gain, abdominal exams at least every one to two years, 
as well as fractures or fracture risk. And that is it for my presentation. Thank you.